Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my channel. Eat healthy, get rich, and drink good beer. Today, once again, I have a ridiculously easy recipe for you. We're going to convert this 10p pita bread into something absolutely amazing takeaway recipe. I will also tell you about five stocks in my invest and forget portfolio. This is a portfolio for, let's say, when my son will go to university, that will pay his fees. It could be a portfolio for you where you save for your marriage. It could be a portfolio where you save for your house deposit. Basically, the idea is you every month put a little bit in and the plot of this money will grow. Okay, you can actually fractionally invest. So you don't have to buy the full share. Most of the apps can actually, you can actually buy 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.7 type of shares. Obviously, because this is an invest and forget portfolio, so it's slightly costlier than all of my previous picks. However, it's still the PISA money, a PISA cost 16 quid, or it's a night out money, or it's a takeaway money. We're gonna introduce a crisp Irish lager, which will go very well with this food combination. Okay, let's get started. So for this dish, you need salt, you need black pepper, olive oil, sweetened chili sauce, any sweetened chili sauce, sauce will do, a jalapenos, radish, two small chicken breasts. I'm gonna put really small amount of meat uh, in my dish. Lettuce, tomatoes, lemon, red pepper. I will uh, grate this carrot and onion. The final magic ingredient are these garlic cloves, which we will mash and make a fine paste from an amazing coating for our pita bread. I'm gonna leave the links to all the tools I use in the description. So if you wanna buy something, just, just check the link. I'm gonna slice the chicken really, really thinly because it's gonna fill the pita bread. Let's, let's, let's marinate the chicken. Again, I'm gonna cheat. You cannot cheat in your exams, but you can cheat in my cooking. This is a no rules cooking, guys. Little bit of sweet chili sauce just to marinate and that's pretty much it two spoons is enough the salt and the sugar is gonna work magic and the chili will work the magic and the kids will not know because of the sweetness already smelling pretty amazing it's looking pretty nice this is gonna go and stay at room temperature for about two three hours all been cut it just got a sprinkle of uh, salt and pepper and also a series of lime on the top uh, the garlic has been crushed and i have added olive oil and black pepper and this mixture we're gonna use to coat the pita bread the chicken has been sitting for three hours time to introduce the beer of the day is hard irish lager and as usual i'm not gonna wait till the chicken gets cooked it's very low alcohol it's very very refreshing and will go really well with this dish chicken's gonna simmer for a few minutes let's use those minutes to talk about my invest and forget stock portfolio investment is a long-term project guys it's a marathon not a sprint okay so when i introduce you penny stocks they are more likely to be sprint whereas the stocks i'm going to introduce you uh, today they are the the long distance runners the first stock pick is ticker symbol c l o v uh, clover health investments corp this is a chamath special uh, stock you, you, you should, if you are investing in stocks, you should know who Chamath is. I am an aging biologist. I have spent the last 15 years of my life studying aging and age-related diseases. In the West, there is a problem. We have uh, aged populations. They have chronic diseases. And this is the company that brings uh, AI, artificial intelligence, something I apply in my lab. Also machine learning into uh, solving age-associated uh, problems. Uh, again, I am not a financial advisor. These uh, videos are for entertainment purposes only. You should do your own di due diligence. Stock markets are risky and you may lose all of your money. However, for me, this, uh, this, this company, I think this is gonna go st uh, grow steadily over a period of time. Second stock I want to talk about is ticker symbol NNDM or Nano Dimension. It's a company that ha should be sitting around 30 40 uh, US dollars per stock. However, it has been repeatedly offering uh, direct offerings, uh, repeatedly diluting the shareholders. To me, that is not a problem, but uh, that is something that has kept the price of this company down. They have ton of cash on their hand. And as you remember, I always say, cash is the king. The company is into 3D printing. 
this company has a, a machine called Dragonfly and it is pretty amazing what it can do it can print circuits it is into additive manufacturing again one of my previous PhD students from Scotland did additive printing where we were printing cells onto 3d matrices this company gonna do that uh, imagine a world where you can uh, 3d print a rocket uh, Ark Invest is la launching a new space uh, 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 ETF fund so space is the future to me it's we still don't even know earth <laughs> to be really honest with you uh, we don't know many corners of earth but humans are fascinated by space this is an area which is going to explode and i think uh, the, this company can actually 3d print space rocket parts 3d print medical uh, parts imagine the knee operations when you uh, need a knee replacement or a hip replacement something that could be 3d printed so for me this company has huge potential and I think it will be more than $50 in a not so uh, distant future. Remember the inkjet printer model, you know, the printers are actually pretty cheap. However, the ink is, is what brings in the money. So this company is going to sell their Dragonfly printers and then they're going to make ton of money in recurrent re revenues by selling ink for those 3D printers. The third stock is ticker symbol WISH. This is a new IPO. Uh, it is uh, relatively uh, cheap as compared to let's say Amazon or eBay. I'm not gonna say that they are the competitors, but uh, I have always thought in my life that number three, number four, sometimes is good enough. You don't have to be the top dog. Uh, the reason why I think this company is overlooked is because they really need uh, supply cheap stuff. They operate from America, which, which is gonna be huge. Uh, politically, they also, if you want to buy something one-off, it is, uh, it is, this is the company to go to. The company has lots and lots of cash on its balance sheet. And you know what I'm gonna say, cash is the king. Next two stocks are the Chinese EV companies, uh, ticker symbol NIO. I have made a video about NIO. What I'm gonna tell you is this is a e-commerce platform where their e-car is the biggest product. It's an ecosystem. It's a closed ecosystem. Remember Apple and Google. You know, Google is an open source uh, and Apple is a closed uh, source. Neo is gonna be a massive closed source ecosystem where the customer is gonna be retained. They have second-hand car business, they have beers, they have they, the charging uh, network. Battery as a service is a unique, uh, very, very unique network. It's growing really, really fast. Remember SBE? People are like, the, the stock is doing really well. Imagine a SBE type company as a small company within NEO. The next uh, EV stock from China is XPEV. I say China, but they're already in Europe. I always buy XPEV less as compared to NEO. So if I buy two NEO, I will buy one XPEV. It's just because I'm more confident in NEO. I, I lived in China, I have worked in China, and the market there, I, I understand, you you just have to be uh, making a good product. You have a good product, it is a big enough market uh, to, to sell. So XPEV has absolutely amazing cars. Have a look on, on, on YouTube uh, videos. Uh, they have one of the best autonomous technologies. Some people think even better than Tesla. I think there will be a competition between uh, NEO and XPEV in China. Uh, obviously Tesla is still number one. That's all I have to say about uh, my invest and forget portfolio. Chicken has been cooked. I have cut it into thin strips. Um, and let's cook these pita breads. So that's the uh, olive oil and garlic uh, mix. So just coat the both sides gently like this. And we will be ready to go. I'm just gonna cook two each at the same time. So just maybe one minute each on each side on full heat guys i did wash uh, the griddle pan but uh, it's it's not really a requirement if you're going to use the same same pan i just the, the chili the kids don't really like that much so that, that's why i have rinsed it that's the bread's ready to go let's assemble you can serve this in two different manners so i've just cut the bread in half you can either serve it like this or you can make a small pocket in the pita bread and then maybe put a little bit of chicken in it little of uh, carrot little bit of uh, lettuce 
few drops of your tomato it's for me so i'm gonna put a little bit of onion and one jalapeno you can serve it with this lime time for a taste test mm -hmm. try this combo guys see you in next video